So Josh, um, officially named as club captain for the new year. I suppose you've been captain before in your career, so you kind of know what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, so obviously the gaffers sat me down and explained what he wants from me and stuff. And to be honest, it's just a great honour to kind of lead men, I suppose. So yeah, it's, um, I'm really happy about it. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. You filled in a couple of times last season with the captain's armband as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. To be fair, the great thing about the squad is there's a lot of leaders in the squad. So obviously I've got the armband, but you know, there's there's a lot of characters out there that can lead this this trust me in this team so you know just because I've got the armband doesn't mean everyone else can't lead so you know that's what we expect this season certainly there's quite a lot of the new players coming in are yeah. the more experienced players yeah um that I guess along with you will be able to help the, the younger ones yeah definitely I, obviously I come in last year and I was new so you know and I'd like to think I had a bit of an input uh, you know into the season so you know I expect the the new lads coming in and you know show their experience and, and guide us um to get results how has pre-season gone for you personally yeah, I'm not getting old now. I think it's like my 20, is it like the 21st free season or something? So, yeah, it's a lot of work. But now, nah, um, you know what? As I'm getting older, I'm loving it more and more because obviously, when you get older, you know, your time's kind of numbered. So, um, <laughs> it's been, it's just been great, really. Um, pre season has been really good. It's been adaptive. You know, we've done it for, you know, each individual player, which is something especially important for me at my age. So, I've really enjoyed it. You know, obviously, we went away to Biddleford and, you know, it was good. To, Good team bonding. We had, we did some sessions on the beach and stuff. So now nah, it's, it's it's been amazing. We're just ready to start the season. Have you done many of those weekends before with with other clubs? Yeah, I've done some horrible ones. Too, <laughs> yeah, I've done a few horrible army ones. So yeah, but um, now nah, it's about team building. We've got a lot of new players, haven't we? So you know, we need to go away. We need to knit as a as a group, and you know that's what it's for. And and sometimes it's good to get out of your environment and get out of your uh, comfort zone. So yeah, it was good. And certainly the, the ones that have come in seem to have settled really well. They're great lads, you know, they're great characters. I know a couple of them anyway, but they're just really nice lads. And I, I suppose with football, because football is such a small community, you kind of know them through other people. So, yeah, I mean, they've, they've, they've been great. I mean, technically, you know, some of the players like the Gaffer Sporting are a different class. So, you know, it's going to be an exciting season. Two, ga- uh, two days away from the opening game of the season. Yeah. Uh, are you excited? You know, you say it's the 21st or whatever pre-season. <laughs> Do you still have that excitement? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, I spoke to the gaffer at length um, when we was at Biddeford, actually, just about, you know, what I want and, you know, out of the season for myself and the team. And as I've got older, I think I've got more determined to win things. Um, obviously, I, I win, you know, promotion with Grimsby and stuff like that. So it's just giving me that, that, that fire, that burning desire to, you know, really win something and, you know, this season we really want to have a push and you know I'm, I just can't wait to get going you seem quite a focused person on that stage so there's not yeah. much talking to you certainly when you're <laughs> you're waiting to walk down that tunnel yeah I, I do I've got a few uh, pre-game rituals and some visualisation stuff so yeah I'm just kind of in my zone so I just find you know from a psychological point you have to get your processes ready before you go out so you, you know you're mentally prepared so I just make sure like from today Thursday really I'm preparing for the game Saturday and then obviously once I've done my little bits in the changing room I'm ready to play and do you think the other players are, are, are similar this season? There seems to be quite a lot of desire to do well. Yeah, definitely. They've come, they, people have come in for different reasons. You know, they've, they've done well at the clubs or they haven't done so well, so they've got a point to prove. So, obviously, when you're at a new club, you've got to prove and, and, and take your place. So, you know, they're all coming in. They understand the club. They understand it's a big club at this level. They understand, understand the fans' expectations. So, you know, they've got to hit the ground running. You know Edgar Street and you know the fans really well, obviously, yeah. from your time with Hereford United as well. Um, kind of what, how big a role can the fans play in a successful season? Um, it's massive, to be honest. Um, I think the fans put pressure on us. I thrive under pressure, I like pressure, because it means you've got expectations every week. So, you know, you really got to perform week in, week out. And I think that's something that we need. I think that's something that professionals need, is that bit of pressure. And that's what they give us. But, you know, they're great, they get behind us, they cheer us on, you know, especially at home when we're doing well and, and, and we're kicking down that slope you know they get, they get really behind us and it's um, yeah it's a sight to behold Do you think uh, that the season last season obviously the first in the National League North do you think that gives us that kind of little bit of extra knowledge now moving into the new season? Yeah yeah, definitely I think you know there's been successful promotions in there through the years and, and I think you get to a stage where the level's different and I think last season the level was different and it's obviously a more professional league the players are better and I just think, yeah, I think we needed to consolidate last year and that's what we did and now we need to kick on.